Now, refrigeration refers to lowering the temperature of the food commodity in order to increase the shelf life of it. Coming to the formula that is being used in the calculations is Q, that is the heating load or the um, uh, refrigeration capacity for any refrigerator that would be equal to the sensible heating in the first place plus the latent heat of freezing or if we are freezing is also included in it plus the sensible heating below the freezing temperatures. We will be discussing this formula in detail ahead. Another formula that is mostly used is the COP, that is the coefficient of performance for the refrigerator, which is equal to refrigeration effect upon the work input. Uh, similarly, COP for a heat pump can also be calculated, which is equal to the uh, pumping effect or the heating effect divided by the work input. Now the COP of refrigerator and the heat pump has a relation that is COP of heat pump is equal to COP of refrigerator plus one. Now discussing about the refrigeration cycle coming to the VCRS cycle which is uh, commonly known as the vapor compression refrigeration cycle. Now this consists of an evaporator which in um, absorbs the heat from the material that needs to be cooled. So here we have the Q input followed by uh, which uh, through which uh, the heat is absorbed from the material by the help of the fluid refrigerating fluid that is passing through it. This refrigerated fluid absorbs heat and then it is moved to the compressor wherein work input is given. After that, it is passed through the condenser where is the absorbed heat is removed. It is escaped out through into the atmosphere followed by expansion valve where pressure again reduces. Now, this the heat that is being absorbed from the material is also called the refrigeration load or the refrigeration capacity for the food, which is equal to the MCP delta T. That means the amount of heat that is required. Now, if this heating load also includes, uh, if this uh, heat load also includes the freezing part of the food, then in that case, the sensible heat would also be added. Plus, if you are freezing it and if you are keeping the temperature below the freezing point, then again MCP delta T below the freezing point would appear over here. Now this is the refrigeration capacity or the heating load for that. Followed by the compressor part, where work input is given, which is the amount of work that you are putting into the refrigerator. Now, condenser it is the amount of heat that is being rejected to the atmosphere. And in the expansion valve, we have same enthalpies uh, uh, because expansion is uh, here, expansion is done with the help of adiabatic, I mean, isenthalpic expansion that is the throttling part is done over here which is an isenthalpy process due to which the enthalpy at third level and the fourth level is same. Now again uh, this heating capacity can also be found by the change in enthalpies from first to fourth part right followed by the work done that is being put over here it would be change in enthalpy from the second stage to the first stage and the heat that is being rejected would be equal to the enthalpy in second stage minus enthalpy in third stages now the question that may be asked that is the question to which it is related to uh, mostly direct questions aate hain thodi bahut twist and turn karke aate but the formula is very simple so we can Go through the question that is uh, given over here, which is a cold storage plant is used to store 50 tons of apples in perforated plastic crates. During the storage, apples are cooled down from 28 degrees Celsius to 2 degrees Celsius. That means here we are doing sensible heating from 28 degrees Celsius to 2 degrees Celsius. Specific heat is given that is given in kilocalories per kg per degree Celsius. And you have to find out the uh, refrigeration capacity in tons if the cooling uh, if the required cooling is attained in 16 hours so they are given he we are cooling the system for 16 hours and we need to know the um, refrigeration plant capacity so first of all in order to find out the plant capacity although it is given in tons we need to find it out in tons first we can find it out in normal uh, units. So, because it is given in kilocalories per kg per degree Celsius, we will be getting the uh, 
value of heat in kilocalories per hour. Now let's just discuss the heating cooling load or the heat load that is required for it rate of cooling. Let's just discuss the rate of cooling, which will be the amount of heat that is required or the heat load. By the time period during which it is being applied. So it will be value of Q can be M C P delta T divided by time, which is 16 hours. So you will get the value in kilocalories per hour. Now I'm just putting the values over here. M is 50 tons. That means 50 into 10 to the power 3 kgs multiplied by CP. That is 0.874 kilocalories per kg per degree Celsius. So we need to give the delta T in degree Celsius also. That is 28 minus 2, which is 26 divided by 16. So on solving, I'll be getting a cooling rate of 71012.5 kilocalories per hour. Fine. But the question is find out the capacity of plant, the cooling capacity, the refrigeration capacity in tons. Now for that, we need to use a, a conversion factor that is one ton is equals to 3000 kilocalories per hour. It varies from the units to units. Now here we are asking uh, the thing that is being asked is the refrigeration capacity. Now for that, we'll just convert this value and uh, we will be getting that is the uh, capacity, the refrigeration capacity. That would be equal to 71012.5 divided by 3000, which will be nearly 24 tons. So 24 tons is the refrigeration capacity of the uh, this plant that we have been setting up. OK, so 24. Uh, now, if the cooling is achieved in eight hours and the power required in horsepower to operate the plant having a coefficient of performance as 2.5. Now, the rate of cooling, first of all, the time period for cooling has changed from 16 hours to eight hours. So the rate of cooling would change. So rate of cooling in the second case, I'm doing it with a different pen so that it is clear we are starting with the p part so in part b we have a uh, this that is if the cooling is to be achieved in eight hours so for that we need to find the rate of cooling which will be q by t again so q would be 50 into 10 to the power 3 multiplied by 0.874 multiplied by 26 because everything else is same other than the time of cooling, which is eight hours over here. So here we will be getting 142025 kilocalories per hour. So what we can do is we can convert it. Uh, uh, yeah, we are given with the COP. Now the COP, as we know, COP for refrigerator is the refrigeration effect that is the refrigeration load divided by the work being put that is being put into the system. So COP is 2.5 and the refrigeration work is given whether we have calculated it, which is 142025 uh, kilocalories per hour divided by work input. Now from here we can find out the work input. So the work input over here uh, for this particular system would be 56810 kilocalories per hour. Now we have to find out this work done in horsepower. For that, we will have to convert it into horsepower. We know the value for the horsepower in terms of kilowatts. So first what we'll do, we'll convert it into uh, the thing kilowatt part and then we will we'll be converting into horsepower. So for that, what we have done, we are multiplying with the conversion factor and after doing that, we will ultimately get it at 89 horsepower as the amount of work that we need to put in in order to achieve the desired amount of the refrigeration effect on the food. 
So that is how we will be using the different formulas related to refrigeration part in order to solve the questions that are given on this 